Twelve years ago, attorney Daniel Summerflex started it all, filing a lawsuit that eventually led to the appointment of a federal management team to oversee improvements in the way Guam cares for those suffering from mental illnesses. Where? You know, where are the improvements? Summerfleck won his case, convincing the federal court to order a permanent injunction, appoint the federal managers, and force Gov Guam to set aside roughly $8 million to date to pay for it all. But nearly a quarter of that $8 million, $2 million, has been spent on salaries, primarily for the federal managers who have been paid over $30,000 a month. What I've seen in their statements to the court is around thirty to thirty-six thousand dollars. So I think a month. Yeah, each. Which totals how much over the course of a year? Eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand dollars. And they've been at it for over two years now. We've probably spent about two million dollars so far on the federal management team, just their salary, not to count their support staff as well that they have. In a filing with the district court yesterday, Summerfleck wrote that Guam's failure to meet minimum health care standards after 12 years of litigation and eight years after the issuance of the permanent injunction is an absurdity of stunning proportions. Do you feel confident that you've been making progress? Oh, I think I do, and the staff does, that, that we've made uh, significant progress, and we'll be presenting that to the judge um, uh, Wednesday and, and do a briefings for the public at that time. But Summerfleck wants Kiffer removed, and he has joined with the governor's request filed last Friday asking District Court Judge Consuelo Marshall to replace him with Superior Court Judge Elizabeth Barrett Anderson. First of all, I'd like the judge to say, let's stop, let's stop this, this change until we can figure out and get someone looking at this situation who, who's looking at it from a rational point of view, which we've asked the judge to do right away. Second thing I'd like the judge to do is I'd like the judge to grant the motion to, to replace the federal management team. And I'd like the judge at this point to appoint the governor's recommendation. Is a change needed? Is a change needed? Not according to um, SAMHSA. They think things are progressing quite well. Of course, this is all up to the judge. Uh, she, she will decide, is a change needed? Does she want a change? I work for the judge. She has a right to hire who she wants. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.